Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Jesse. This is going to be episode 8 of SimCity. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this series. At least I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, not a lot of feedback from this one. Um, be sure to uh, let me know what you guys think of this. If you like it, if you don't like it, I won't continue it. Um, I enjoy this game, so I'm going to play it anyways. But um, if you guys are liking it, let me know, and I'll keep on putting the videos up. And hopefully, uh, you know, by the time I get finished with this one, I think I'm going to shoot for the uh, shoot for the moon, I guess, is what I plan on doing with this this series. And then when I'm finished with this, I hope I'm going to upgrade and do the uh, DLC, the futuristic thing in Majig or whatever it is, and I'll do a playthrough of that. Um, if that sounds good to you guys, let me know in the comments. And I, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Jesse. Um, and this is Scrubsville. Okay, so last time, <laughs> we had ourselves finding a lot of problems with power and everything. And actually, I don't remember us having this much money per hour. We're actually doing... Whoa, that was weird. Uh, we're having a lot of monies. I thought we were having some serious power issues, but... I guess we're not doing as horrible as I was expecting. I was expecting to come in here just totally getting, like, plastered with people yelling at me and getting mad but I think actually we're doing pretty good people are very happy commercial business is not too happy which is fine because I don't really care as long as we're making money and we're doing good we're gonna kick this up into cheetah speed and we're gonna see what we can do last time uh, we got the university which is uh, again no students so that's not good which is fine I think last time we had 27 students so I guess it's kind of a better Look, 279. That's that's better. That's fine. So, I think the only issue that we really need to think about right now is that power. The power situation is murdering us. It's ridiculous. We're going to add one more of these uh, solar arrays for 16,000 big ones. We're just going to pop it on there. And hopefully we won't have to worry about this too much more because it's kind of becoming an issue. Look, no power. Oh, no, wait, what? Mayor Fosna 20 Mayor JF Scrub status. Don't listen to him. Look, he's got a twisty stash as well. I know you probably have your hands full with requests uh, now that you have a university. No, actually, you're the first one to say anything. Can you put some time to research a solar farm? Great works. No, actually, no. I don't want to do the solar farm. It'll give the whole uh, everybody power, but I do want to go to space. That's the whole point of this. We're we're gonna we're not gonna do it. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm too busy with other requests. I can't be handling yours. Oh, God. Look at this. Fire truck is actually doing business. Oh, look. Now, what is this? Why do all these houses have solar panels on top of them? What? This has got to be something new. I, I did not... I did not know this that this game did this. This is weird. Look at these solar panels on everything. Why are we having a solar... Pro a uh, solar panel problem or, or, or a power problem okay whatever okay so I think on this episode I think what we're gonna work on is we're gonna fill this place up with tourists it's gonna be amazing because in order to uh, really pump up the old uh, the old power budget here we need some tourists we also need to do um a little bit of this turning this ore into metals and in order to do that we need to Let's see here really quick. We need to go to electronics. We need to have a processor factory. We need medium or five medium tech buildings for industry. Now that the people are getting a little bit more educated with the university up here. Look, 90 people. 90 people are getting super educated. It's amazing. Uh, by that time, hopefully, these will start upgrading into higher, higher tech businesses. But until then... I think what we're going to do is try to make as much money as we can. And we're going to, um, oh look, we're not approved for any of this stuff. We are approved for an expo center. But we're not approved for anything else. I think we have to do another upgrade. Can we do an upgrade? Oh, look at that. We have almost got 30,000 people. We can't do another upgrade, so we're going to have to wait. Wait until next time. We need more peoples is what we need. These people are pretty happy. How are you guys doing? Eh, they're not too bad. Maybe we can throw some more parks in here. Will that make you guys happier? Can we edit this one? Hello? We'll edit this one. Try to make these people happier. Look. We'll put another... Oh, we don't want to do that. We'll put more parks on the back side of this. Boom. Look at that. There's pine trees in the middle of these parks. Not pine trees, but uh, 
Whatever these are. It's no big deal. But hopefully these people start... Look, they're so happy. They'll start increasing density, and they'll be able to do more. I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, increase the production of this. Because there's a lot of ore in this area. So we can do... We can try to make some money off of this. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do another um, ore shaft. More ore. Increase your ore mine's extraction rate by adding another shaft. It'll add more maintenance costs, sure. But it's only $40 an hour. That's nothing. But you'll get more jobs and more ore. More. Very nice. Okay, we'll do one of those. Boom. $16,000. $40 an hour, which is nothing. We should get just about double as much as we always get. Um... They're doing pretty good. They don't need more trucks or anything like that. They've got two trucks. They should also be fine. People should have more jobs. People will be happy. And uh, we'll see what goes from there. Um, for now, we could... I think what we could do is... Um, we could look into actually getting oil. Do we do oil? Look at that. Look at it. We could do it right here. Right next to... And I think that's what we're going to do as well. Look at that. We're going to put an oil... An oil well. What better way to thank the dinosaurs for hooking us up with all that oil than making the simoleons off of them? Oh god. This is horrible. Look at this guy. <laughs> Become an oil tycoon. Drill deep into the ground and extract black gold. God, you are a sleazy bastard. Um, pump crude oil from reservoirs underneath your city. Uh, run your city on crude oil. No, I don't want to do that. And an oil power, and an oil power plant. Sell barrels of your crude oil. Uh, to local industries or on the global market for trade expo, which is probably what we're gonna do. So we're gonna stick it right here We're gonna get uh, 357 point 38 thousand barrels of oil from putting this right here These people are not happy. I did not expect that But it doesn't seem like their happiness is going down. Oh, just a little bit. That's not too bad Maybe we can throw a park. Can we throw a park in here? Got room for a park? Maybe we could try to distract the people Hello? Oh, trash is a problem. What do you have to say, Mr. Chong? Garbage dumps are nearly full. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. Oh my god, this is quite the fire. <laughs> garbage dumps. Oh, I didn't even know we had this. I forgot all about the garbage. So, we could put more dumps. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to incinerate the trash. Because I think the wind is going... Yeah, the wind is going away from us. They'll never even know. How much was that? Jesus, that was expensive. $25,000. Burn the garbage away. Air pollution? Nah, nobody cares about that. Pretty much. It burns about 1.5 tons per hour, and it creates a high rate of pollution. It's not too good. And we're not picking up all the garbage, so we might need to put another truck. Which I think is what we're going to do. Boom. $5,000. Gone. $100 an hour. Gone. But it's fine. Hopefully the air pollution... Whoa! Sorry about that. Hopefully the air pollution will just blow that way. And and actually, there. Look. The volcano can have it. Look. That's fine. He'll love it. Volcano gods. There's a lot of people that are upset. A lot of oil. Police officers. The fire department's getting too over-encumbered by all the fires. The university is not teaching any students. What the hell? Why aren't you teaching any students? You guys suck. Sewage. We're treating less and less amount of sewage every day. The city is literally falling apart. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna have to add a um, sewage treatment tank. Uh, ew. Holds even more sewage water. Uh, increase the sewage treatment plant capacity so it doesn't overflow uh, with human waste. Disgusting. $40,000 for that at $200 an hour. But look. It doesn't take up any space. Look at that. And now we have a whole bunch of excess. That's beautiful. That's fine. All the all the poop can come here. Let's get out of here. I don't like looking at it. It's kind of disgusting. Trash people. They'll, they'll be fine now that they've got the incinerator. They should be incinerating a lot of it. Um, we could be pumping more oil, but I don't think we're going to. We have nowhere to put the oil. So we need to come over here to the trade depot. We need to edit it. And we need to put a crude oil storage slot. It adds storage space for crude oil. Uh, use the crude oil locally. Import it from the global market. Uh, low price and export it at a high price oh shit I didn't even know you could do that we'll put it oh no we won't put it over there put it right here so I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to export that as well because there's nothing we really can do about it right now so we're gonna have to uh, oil 
We're going to export the oil for $10,571. Uh, what is that? Per 1,000 gallons, maybe? Yeah, sure. Why not? Perfect. So now we'll be making a little bit of money off of that. Is this still guy? Is this guy yelling at me still? Almost half full. No, thank you. We can just burn it all. Don't even worry about it. People won't be upset. Just like they won't be upset now that I put a park here. So they don't even see the trash. Look, you guys won't even know. Put a small field there. Okay, maybe we'll put... Oh, God. Can we put a blacktop park? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is perfect. Look at this. Do you guys... Look. You guys can just play next to industry. Look, they're so happy about that. Look. That's amazing. It's closed for the day. We're going to bring as many kids as we can. Look, swing sets. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll put swing sets. We'll put playgrounds. People won't even know. People won't even know. I'm really excited to see how many kids come and play in between the, uh, the drilling of the wells and the ore mine. Oh, it'll be perfect. Look how happy they are. They don't even know. They don't even know that there's a big fire coming out of here. And, and oil wells just pumping away. That's amazing. We're still making $2,000 per hour, which I haven't even bothered looking at because we've been doing so well. Oh god, this is amazing. <coughs> Sorry. I coughed, and it kind of hurts now. What we need is... There we go. We got more students coming, which is great. I have to cough again. This is horrible. My throat hurts. <coughs> Ouch. Okay, I'm back. So I think until until these industries... Look, is the tech level going up? No, not really. We need to... How do we pump up the production here? Oh, can we start? We can start research. Oh, no, wait. We need different schools of science and engineering and science. I don't think we could do anything until we upgrade. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see here. Wait. We've got one less one less chance. Oh, no. We need a space center. See, that's, this is what we're going to have to do. It's going to cost us 200,000 simoleons. And we need a school of engineering. So that's going to be our first project, is getting that school of engineering up. How do we get more students in here? Oh, that's why. There's not a freaking sign. People don't even know where they're at. Look. Just like the uh, just like the educational department. University. Now people know where they're going. And I think what we need to do is how many... This can have a thousand students. How many students can be here at one time? Only 800, and we need 1,000. So I think what we need to do is we need to put a d dormitory. It adds additional students to the population without having to build additional housing. Oh, so people can come. Oh my God, look how huge it is. People can come from outside of the district. Look, we're gonna put it right here. So these, people, oh my God. Look, look at how cool it would be to live in this dormitory. Well, there are a lot of trees in the way. But yes, look at that. You could just look over the city. You guys can come up here and like jump off the hill and jump off the top of this building and just roll down and have a great time. That would be a really steep fall though. Oh my God. That'd be a really far jump for that matter. Hopefully this will start, look, 500 students. We only need 500 more in order to uh, upgrade this. Look at it, what are they doing? They're all walking very nicely. Look at that. They're all getting taught up. Oh, this, the people are just pumping in. Okay, so th we'll, we'll have more educated sims here soon. So hopefully this place will start upgrading. Business is great. They're upgrading. Tech level still pretty level or pretty low. But hopefully hopefully that'll that'll soon ship up. Okay, so I think for now traffic's been pretty good, which is surprising because on this version you know, on the original SimCity, traffic used to be quite an issue, but I think I've done a pretty good job about laying out the roads. It is only 5 in the afternoon, or not even 5 in the afternoon, so maybe maybe traffic will kick up a notch here. But I think for now, we're doing pretty good. I'm actually really surprised. Usually by now that my city's basically turned to shit, and, and nothing's happening. And look! The upgrade! Oh wait, no. I don't want to upgrade the house. I want to upgrade this place. Can I do that? Oh my god, I can. Look, upgrade. Boom. 
Bish bash bash upgraded. Look, look at the fireworks. And look at all these happy people. They're just so happy. Cool. So now we can get our tourism. Transportation. Do we need that? Oh, I think what we're gonna do is do we what? Now tourism is pretty fun, but uh, I think there's other things that we need. Why would you ever need a helipad? Oh, for mayors who like the big entrance. I don't think that's necessary. Okay. So we can have a transportation, or a Department of Transportation, which um, adds passenger trains, bus terminals, and airports. We can have tourism, which lets us unlock all those landmarks and pro stadiums and larger parks. Um, we can do the Department of Safety, which I don't think is a big deal. People are pretty safe around here. We've got our uh, our police station and our fire station's not doing too bad, actually, which is also surprising. And then the Department of Finance, which I don't really care too much about because we're making pretty good money and everyone's getting taxed pretty low. I think it's about 9% for all, all people. So I don't think that's too big of a deal. What's that thing? Oh, it's placed in the region. Okay. So I think... We either want tourism or transportation. Is tourism going to be, or is transportation going to be a big deal? How many until we have to upgrade? 75,000 residents. Oh, okay, so this might be our last upgrade because it's pretty hard to get that high. We'll do tourism. Hopefully this will bring us some more big ones. Oh, look, we can put it on top. We're going to do that. We're going to put it right here. Boom. Cool. God, that kind of hit us, hit us in the money socket.